Hello and welcome back to my shop. Years ago on my YouTube channel, I did a tutorial on how to electro etch your initials or your maker's mark into your knife. And I did that video using a car battery charger. But recently I cannot get this thing to work. These car battery chargers have a built-in protection where if they don't detect a charge in your battery, they won't work. And this is to prevent you from getting shocked or harmed. And so I just can't get this thing to work anymore. It used to work for me and now it doesn't detect a battery and so it won't it won't send any current through the alligator clips or through the wires. So I was searching online and I didn't want to spend a, a bunch of money on a professional electro etching machine. And I found on Reddit where some guys were saying you could do this super cheap and super easy. These professional etching machines can be quite expensive, not to mention the etching solution. And then you have to buy the stencils, which cost quite a bit as well. So what I found out is that you can just use one of these. I went to my local thrift store and picked this up. This is just a Fisher Price Power Wheels battery charger. But you can use any charger. You can use an old cell phone charger like this. But the problem with these is that this only has one wire coming out. And when you cut it, it looks like this. So it's hard to determine what is your positive and what is your negative. I found this and it's very obvious. It has the red positive and the black negative and it separates into two wires. What I did was cut the end off. This is what plugs into the power wheels car and you charge it up. Just chop that off. And then I went to Walmart and I picked up these little alligator clips and this was about a couple of bucks and just simply attach the alligator clips to the wires. I just cut the end off and split this down a ways so I can have two working ends and if you really want to do this properly you could solder this on. When looking for a charger, you want to make sure to look for the output and make sure that it is in DC, direct current. You don't want alternating current because that won't etch a deep etch. I picked one that was 12 volts and 1 amp. And this little symbol right there designates that that is direct current. There you can see that little symbol right there. And since we're doing this on the cheap, we can't afford a stencil, so we're just going to use some nail polish. Put a thin layer of nail polish to protect the blade, and then let it dry for about 30 seconds, maybe a minute, and then just take a sharp stick or a toothpick and scratch in your design. You could do your maker's mark, you could do your initials. Right here I'm designating this as a template so I know not to ever grind this out into a knife. And you want to give this at least a good 15 minutes or more to dry fully before you do any etching. For your etching solution you're just going to take some salt and add some vinegar to it. and stir it up until the salt is fully dissolved. Take a piece of shop cloth or a paper towel and cut out a little one by one square, about an inch by one inch, give or take. It's not super important. Then you're gonna fold it up into a fairly tight little fold
clip that in your alligator clip. And with this plugged in, clamp your positive lead onto your knife, onto some exposed steel, and then dip your negative lead with your paper towel or shop cloth into your solution and then immediately when you touch it to the knife it's going to start etching. You can see bubbles forming, you can see the black oxides forming and it's actually eating away at the steel and creating a deep etch as you do this. The longer you do this the deeper the etch will be. I did this for about 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. Always use acetone to clean up stuff like this. Acetone will take it off right away. And then you can see we have a really nice deep etch. There are some dark marks where the etching solution went outside of the fingernail polish. You could prevent this by using some masking tape off a bigger area so you don't have any of that etching solution getting outside where you want it to be. And so you can make this as intricate or as simple as you want. And you could alternatively get some professional stencils and make a really nice maker's mark on any blade. Here's an example of another one I did with this same setup. you can see that it's a really nice deep and dark etch. And you can just experiment with how long you hold that etcher to see how deep you get it. So let's try it again one more time. I've got one hooked up here and we'll just speed this up and you can see that it produces some nasty oxides and stuff in that vinegar solution. You just wipe it off, use some acetone to clean it up, and really quickly you have a nice etch on your blade. And like I said, if you want to invest in some professional stencils, then you can get a much better result than this. But this is really good for such a cheap and easy setup. Thanks for watching and I hope this helps anyone who's trying to etch their blades on the cheap. See you next time.